Welcome back to Codio's Ask the Expert series. Today we're really excited to be talking to Sue Sentence about the BCS Certificate in Computer Science Teaching. The BCS Certificate in Computer Science Teaching is a professional recognition for teachers who are now starting to teach the new computing curriculum and it gives them the accreditation to uh, show their competence in various aspects. When a teacher signs up to the certificate they are allocated to an, an e-assessor who is an expert in computer science and they work together during the process, during the year, up to the year that the teachers are working on the certificate um, in giving them guidance and support and most importantly formative feedback on the work that they submit. They shouldn't be afraid of completing the certificate. It's, it's a very interesting journey and we are many e-assessors here to help support them toward that journey. Uh, the certificate is made up of three parts. The first part is to, for teachers to give evidence that demonstrates their engagement with professional development opportunities in computing, um, of which there are now many, some offered through computing in school and elsewhere. And for that part of the certificate, teachers have to be reflective about their journey in developing expertise. I think reflection is the most important thing that we're looking for when we're assessing this part of the certificate and I'm looking in the reflection to get a sense of the individual and a sense of the learning journey which they are taking a part of. The second part is to be able to develop a programming project that demonstrates technical competence and actually rarely do teachers get an opportunity to write a program for themselves that actually puts all those things together. It would be very valuable experience for them if they were to focus on something which they could actually use with their own students. Many teachers uh, came up with the idea of um, assessment tools such as a quiz but we've got other teachers who are working on hardware projects using Raspberry Pi or Arduino. I think being able to do this through the certificate with this support from somebody who has expertise in this area will help teachers gain confidence in their computing skills. The third part is, is a bit more about pedagogy. We encourage teachers to maybe experiment a little bit to, uh, and think about the way they teach computing and to carry out a, a small classroom investigation in, in a particular way of teaching computing and then reflect on that. With Codio come several courses that teachers on the certificate will be able to use to support them in their acquisition of new programming skills. Um, some of these have quite open-ended exercises which fits in with our philosophy of, of helping teachers to um, work gradual, in gradual steps. Another aspect of the Codio platform that's particularly useful for the certificate is that we would like teachers who choose to use Codio to be able to let their assessors look at their code online. The ability for teachers and assessors to be looking at the same piece of code that a teacher has written would be quite an advantage. Working towards this certificate will give you formal recognition that you can put on your CV and demonstrate to your head teacher that you do have competence in teaching computing, which may not be a subject that you trained to teach when you learned to become a teacher. There has been a continual and inexorable rise in the technology and its economic importance. We have to have a much deeper understanding in the population, both for the economic benefits that it will bring, but also to go forwards into being a 21st century digital society. Thanks for watching. You can see our earlier episodes on our YouTube channel, and please subscribe for more to come in this series.